Hey there guys and welcome back to another Doctor Who review and today in this review we're going to be taking a look at the Monsters on Earth Collector's Audio CD box set. Now, um, much like the uh, Daleks and the Cybermen tin, uh, this one is limited to 8,000 copies um, again and my number is 5,671. Uh, now, the reason why I decided to review this box set because I think it be quite nice to have this little uh, review, um, these reviews of these audio box sets as, as like a little trilogy because even though they aren't connected at all, I think they were, I think they might have been released um, <clears throat> around the same time because um, they're very similar in terms of their design and I just thought it'd be quite nice to continue the trend of reviewing uh, little oddities that I've got in my uh, Doctor Who collection. Um, so. A lot of you might be thinking this is a bit of a pointless box set considering it contains Doctor and the Silurians, the Sea Devils and Warriors of the Deep. So it's basically um, the audio box set version of Fu um, Beneath the Surface which is uh, the DVD version of this box set if you think about it because the DVD version has the same uh, stories and the same set. So uh, it's different versions of ways you can experience these stories I suppose. Um, but the reason why I like to collect these box sets is because uh, one, the artwork I think always looks really good and two, I think they just make really nice little uh, collector pieces uh, and they look really nice on display as well so I think this is quite a rare box despite the fact that the stories all exist um, but without any further ado let's take a look um, at the box itself so I absolutely love the artwork for this I think it looks absolutely fantastic now I've had to take already taken the lid off because it's quite hard to stand this box set without uh, the lid coming off like straight away so I, I took it separate uh, away from the box just to make life a little bit easier so as you can see a very nice box uh, the inside isn't well much better it was much different uh, it's just the fact that the letters are embossed which is really cool and uh, the sea devil and the Solarian is also embossed as well, which makes this um, this artwork really, really cool. Uh, despite the fact you know this box set may be considered to be a little bit pointless, but I just love the artwork design on this. I think it looks brilliant. Uh, so there's the lid, and then uh, for the for the spine, well, the side of the box, we've got um, sort of what we've got on this uh, front cover, really. Except we've got the um, the big dinosaur that I've forgotten the name of it already um, from the Doctor and Silurians and Silurian there and we've got the Sea Devil on this side as you can see with the with the Earth and we've got the, I think that's um, the Sea Devil from was it the Merca? I can't remember my memory's a little bit hazy today uh, but anyway, uh, enough of the box, let's con uh, see what's inside uh, the box so um, They've actually packaged this really, really well, and like the uh, the other two box sets, they've put um, sort of like protection padding in there just to make it a bit more secure. Um, so we've got the first uh, story in the box, which is Doctor Who and the Silurians, one of my favourite um, Doctor Who stories of all time, and it's uh, on audio format, so you can listen to it on your travels or whatever. Um, if you, depending on how much you love the story, because uh, I personally think it's one of the best Doctor Who stories ever made um, in my personal opinion that's probably because it's my favourite Doctor as well so um, yeah it's 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 a very very good story uh, if you want to pause the back uh, well pause the video to read the, the blurb you can but I'm sure most of you know what the story is about so there's no point really um, and then we have um, the Sea Devils which uh, again fantastic artwork and a great story as well um, so that looks really cool. If you want to pause the uh, the video to look at the back of this CD, then you can. And then we have Warriors of the Deep, which isn't uh, a good story, really, in my opinion, at least. Um, there are some elements to what I like, such as the Silurian design, even if it is a little bit clunky than the original. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite an infamous story in many ways, mainly because of the uh, Merca. Um, but I think there are generally some elements of it I like. Uh, some of the set designs I think is quite are quite good. But other than that, story wise, it's a bit crap really. Um, but I'll talk about stories a little bit more as we go through them. Uh, so that's basically the contents of the um, of the. Uh, 
well, this box set really, and um, there's no documentary, uh, but you do get, I think you do get uh, bonus interviews with Katie Manning and Caroline John, so that's always a bonus, um, I don't know if you can get those interviews anywhere, anywhere else, um, so yeah, there are the uh, stories, I might actually display them like that, because uh, I think that would be quite cool, unlike my other videos, um, so yeah, so let's start off with Doctor Who and the Silurians, my brief thoughts on that. As I said, it's one of my favourite Doctor Who stories of all time. I just love the fact that it's quite different to a lot of the other Doctor Who stories that we've seen before. Um, it's quite a, a long one, it's seven parts, and I think it does drag a little bit, which is probably why it doesn't get a, a, a perfect 10 out of 10. Um, but it's, there's still loads of things to like about the story. It's just really well structured and, um, like I said, not necessarily paced, but there's some great characters in there. Uh, just a really great uh, Earthbound poetry story, and then of course the Sea Devils, which again uh, another fantastic Earthbound uh, story. I think it's stories from season nine, and season nine I think is a fairly good season for the most part. And this is probably the highlights from that season in my opinion. I think it's um, definitely a really really good story, and one that I would like to rewatch at some point because it's been a while since I've experienced it. Uh, or I might listen to the, the soundtrack, but I'll probably just end up watching the TV story. Um, because I do find it interesting how they decided to release this these stories um, in uh, audio CD format. I don't know if it's because they thought, well, we've done a box set featuring the Cybermen. We've done a box set featuring the Daleks. Now, should we do one featuring the Cybermen and the Silurians, uh, Cybermen, Silurians and the Sea Devils? Um, so I think that's probably one of the reasons why they decided to do this box. Um... So, I don't know if many people have seen this box set around. Um, I first saw these audio box sets um, in uh, from a YouTuber called uh, The Daleks Rule. You, some of you may remember him. Um, I think it, it, this video was from like 2012, so it was you know nearly 10 years ago or eight years ago, I think. So you know, it was quite a long time ago, and is when I first heard about these box sets. Um, and I've been interested in them ever since because I do, I do think they look really good. And even though, yes, I suppose they are a bit pointless, I've, I've mentioned that. Um, but I just think they, because I'm quite, I'm, I like to collect like little oddities. And uh, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, if you haven't watched them, I like to collect little uh, bits and bobs um, that just sort of stand out really. And I think this box set definitely does stand out. Um, mainly because of the fact the artwork uh, all around is amazing. And I just love what they've done with these audio releases. I just think they've done a such a fantastic job. Um, it's a shame they haven't really changed the artwork for the the Daleks um, CD covers. I suppose they don't really need to really, as they've been released with the Radio Collection style packaging. But um, that's only a minor nitpick. And if you're interested in getting these box sets, I would suggest doing it because. Um, they are really really cool and when they're all lined up together I should have done that really I should have got all of the uh, the audio box sets lined up so you can just have a general idea of what they would look like should you wish to buy them at some point in the future um, I haven't really talked about Worries of the Deep I mean there's not really much to talk about because I think everybody knows the general consensus on this story um, I don't think it's as bad as everybody says it is but it is definitely uh, I think the Merca is really what um, lets this story down. I think a car just drove past. I don't know if, you can, if the camera picked that up. Hopefully it didn't, um, but if, if it did, then just try and ignore it if you can. Um, but definitely um, not a, a complete disaster, but it's just not a very good story in my opinion. There are worse stories out there. Um, I think one of the stories that I can think of that's worse than this story is Orphan 55. I think everyone can agree that's a pretty crap story, well, at least for me. Um, so, yeah, um, a very interesting box set, um, a very interesting way of experiencing these stories uh, if you want to, uh, if you're going on a holiday and you fancy something to listen to, then, yeah, by all means, buy this box set. I'm sure you can probably buy these from iTunes or they might be free on Spotify I know there are some audios that are free on Spotify such as um, some of the big Finnish stories like I think Blood Tide might have been um, free on there which is a Silurian and uh, Sixth Doctor story uh, so I think that's um, quite an interesting little thing about these, these sets is that you can download them and listen to them whenever you can really it's just um, like I said it's a different way of experiencing them 
Um, but I, I wouldn't really regard these sets as pointless, to be honest, because, as I said, they, they make really nice little um, collect, collector pieces. I, I got this box set from eBay. Uh, God knows when I did get it. Um, I, think it I think it might have been this year, um, or the end of last year, because... I saw it on eBay for a good price, and I don't, I don't really see it on eBay very often, so I think it is, it might be the rarest out of the three audio tins, uh, because it, it does fetch for around like 30 to 40, I think, but um, yeah, it's a very interesting little box, and I would recommend getting it just for collector's reasons, really, um, as I said, there's no point really listening to them, but um, if you want to, then by all means do it, I think I might give them a try at some point if I'm... Um, on a long journey somewhere and just stick, I don't know, Doctor and the Silurians on and uh, that will probably pass the time because, you know, that is seven parts along. So, I think that pretty much concludes this review for this uh, Monsters on Earth tin. Uh, so let me know, tell me what you think of all the stories in the box. I can imagine a lot of you will probably say, oh, worries of the deep is a bit crap, but um, maybe somebody will think differently. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Um, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I shall see you in my next video. So take care, and goodbye.